me now demonstrate how to cut this orange in half with the shin can. Let's go to a smaller object such as a lime and drop cut that. The drop cut is a very interesting exercise where most people have a lot of difficulty and the main reason is it's hard to do. We're working with gravity. You have to keep up a speed which is consistent with nature. Let's take a closer look at the drop cut. At the beginning of your lesson in drop cutting, I want you to use a piece of wood. It can be a wooden dowel that's about 24 inches. It could be a shoto like this. Put it in your left hand. I want you to sit into a seiza position. Many people want to stand and do their test cutting, which is a lot more simple. The hard part is, is that if you want to be consistent, stay in a seiza with your knees underneath you with a strong back. This way, you'll be able to strike a lot easier. Not at the very beginning, but over time, with practice, that rhythm will be established. The best way for you to understand how to do this is the fact that your left hand is at your side. You're gonna take your right hand, hold it in front of you, mostly at eye level, drop the object you wanna strike, and then grab the handle of the sword and then hit it. There are many objects you can strike and choose from. Just look around your house and you'll find something simple. For example, a tennis ball, a, a bean bag, a, a empty water bottle, or a sock. A sock is really easy to find, it's easy to roll up, you hold it up in front of you like this, you adjust everything. So let's go over a check. Object is out in front of me, left hand is at my side ready to go. I'm going to drop the object, keeping my eye on the object, and when it gets to onto about right here is where I'll probably strike the object with a sword. Just like that. Now, there's going to be a lot of times where it isn't going to go that far. Does it really matter? Because this is all about timing and consistency. So again, I'm going to come up here like this, let go of the object, and go ahead and hit it like that. Over time, you'll be able to hit this much easier, much more consistent. Let's try a different object, such as a bean bag. Now, if we take a bean bag or a hacky sack or whatever, it will fly around the room. But I want you to take it like this, and let's try something a little different. Let's hold it way up in the air and see what happens. I might not hit it. Let's take it back down to eye level. I might not hit it. And the reason why is I'm taking it up high and low, and I'm taking it up to different levels, but I'm not focusing on the object itself. Be consistent, keep your eye on the object. Therefore, when I hit, take my hands to the side, I bring my arm out, one, one thousand, two, and keep it that simple. Another object you can strike, is, for example, is a tennis ball. You can strike these all day long, just like that. You miss a lot too, which is fine. Being consistent takes a lot of time. So if you're missing 10, 12, 13 times, but hit it once after that, be happy with that at this time. Over practice, you will be more consistent and your strikes will be a lot better. Let's go on to the next level using a mogito or dull metal sword. This will really, really help in your focus, your time and consistency, plus you won't cut your hands if you make a mistake. Take your mogito and place it into your belt area. Now, I want you to understand, if you keep the saya or the sheath out farther, it feels good, but if you keep it out farther, you won't be able to draw as far. Therefore, pull the saya, the sheath, way back over to your left hip, and then turn it so it is flat to the ground. If you spend too much extra time trying to adjust this while the object is falling through the air, you won't make a consistent cut 
and most of the time you'll miss the target. So right off the top, let's have this set up correctly. The blade will be flat to the ground, parallel to the ground. Your hand will be set in front of you and your left hand will be over your left hip. Lift it up to face level, look at it, keep your eyes on the target, and then cut. It's that simple. Not really, it takes time and practice. Let's practice this some more. And you can see that sometimes you don't hit it. Just reach forward, grab it again, lift it up to eye level, look at it, and burn a hole through it with your eyes. Let go, and you'll be able to hit it consistently. So now, since I'm all focused, I can start hitting this a lot easier and better. So now I'm coming on in and I'm hitting this. And over time, about every fourth one you might miss it, which is okay. It isn't about being perfect all the time, but about being consistent. and a bean bag. Bean bags work very well because you don't have to chase them all over. You notice though <clears throat> that when I try to do, I try to go too fast, I wasn't focused enough, and you notice the ball just bounced on by. Remember, even though you hit it three or four times in a row, you start feeling good, and you start losing your focus. You, your mind starts wandering. Keep that focus strong, therefore the cut will be strong. Just like that. So from here, I want us to take and practice over and over and over again how to adjust your back, how to adjust your arms, drop the ball, be able to hit the ball and bring the sword back.